Hello, this is Reverend Don Lewis, and welcome to another week of Living the Wiccan Life. This week, we bring you more interviews from our trip to Pantheacon this last February, including Lasara Firefox, author of Sexy Witch, her daughter Aurora, and her mother, Mama Bear, from the Magical Cauldron of the Western Sea, the Goddess Gather, and Goddess Gather 2 as 1 festivals. I'm sure you'll find them charming and fascinating. This is Reverend Don Lewis, and we're here at Pantheacon with Lasara Firefox, Aurora, and Mama Bear. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> everyone. Greetings. Greetings. Are, are you all enjoying Pantheacon? I'm having a good time this year and seeing old friends and connecting with some, you know, good information always. Wonderful. Definitely. And Lasara, you are the author of Sexy Witch, which. Um, perhaps you would like to say a few words about. Definitely. Sexy Witch was published by Llewellyn in uh, mm -hmm. 2005. And uh, it is, um, I like to call it my anti-system <laughs> of witchcraft. <laughs> it's not really focused on witchcraft primarily. What it's focused on is uh, creating a self-referential relationship with sexuality and power. And the, the audience is primarily female. Although I will say, it's written for a female audience. Mm. But I will say that I've had some amazing letters from men who've taken the the challenge and read Sexy Witch and had it transform their relationship with women um, fundamentally. That's wonderful. Yeah. So, and it's been out for a couple of years now and mm. I still get I still get letters constantly from people saying they just read the book and how it's altered their reality around uh, their bodies and, and their sexual power mm. and, and their intimate relationship with themselves. Where would you like to go next? Well, that's a good question, actually. Mm -hmm. actually yeah, that <laughs> that's a, good a really question. good question. Where, where would you like where to I'd go like next? to go next? Where I'm going next, and what I'm building right now is uh, Morocco. Yeah, Morocco would be good. I, Morocco I spent, would you be say nice. you going to Morocco for your birthday? I would like to, but not this year, I don't think. But maybe next year, Morocco, south of France, and Spain. Yes, I'd like to go to all those places. This year, I spent a lot of time in the Holy Land, actually, which mm. was a fascinating experience, and um, I will be taking. I'm. I've. Uh, found a very deep resonance with uh, with that land and with the the cultures, the different cultures there. Mm -hmm. And I'll be, I've uh, launched a program called Global Family Awakening, which is mm -hmm. family-focused uh, peace and humanitarian adventure travel. So I'll be taking families into, American families primarily, mm -hmm. into um, environments that they may not feel confident about going into alone. Mm -hmm. um, I'm taking my kids, Aurora and Salome, my time. younger. You spent a lot of time there last year. It's yes, thank you. Yes, last year in 2007, I spent quite a bit of time um, in the West Bank, mm -hmm. and so I'll be taking a tour, um, peace and humanitarian focused tour of, of families to the Middle East this coming year, and I'll oh. be building that up over the next number of years. We'll be adding different locations where um, where we can take families and and do works of humanitarian and peace building in per the person to person context. Mm -hmm. And um, there's, I think it's, it's time mm -hmm. for us to take an active role in participating in creating global family. Mm -hmm. And uh, not just in an attenuated sort of intellectual sense, but, um, you know, if, the, if, if wars are going to ever end, it needs to be started by each of us. That, oh, that ending of the war needs to be an active participation that we're all taking on. It's very true. So that's one thing I'm doing, and I'm also focusing on working with families in a in a retreat setting, um, working on value structures, and uh, I'm working on a book called Sustainable Family Values. Hopefully, that'll be my next title out. I haven't decided who the publisher will be yet, um, but I hope to see that coming out in the next year. Wonderful. And you were talking to us uh, before we started the interview about uh, about your teaching that you do, mm -hmm. and. Um, and, and the uh, diversity of uh, geographical areas yes, that you definitely. cover. Yes, definitely. Yeah, so one of the things that I've done in the last year is that, and, and a little bit more, but especially in the last year, I've been re really focusing on how I can um, allow my audience to ac access me Mm -hmm. with more ease um, because it's not always uh, feasible for people to travel long distances to mm -hmm. come and do say a five-day retreat or a weekend retreat or whatever the format might be so I've started doing um, workshops that are based primarily on um, 
a distance learning format through teleclasses, internet support, new um, e-groups that people share. So there's a cohort model where people are um, in support of one another mm -hmm. in a continual way while we work a program. Right now I'm doing a, um, a sexy witch study group. That's an eight week program. And everybody has, everybody in the group has a buddy. I call them their sexy witch sister. It's all women in the group right now. So um, they have someone in the group that they're mm -hmm. in a buddy system with so that they, if anything comes up, they have someone they know they can call on. Um, mm -hmm. Then also there's the group where we, the email, you know, email list where we can all say this is what's going on or I had a really great time with this exercise or I had a really difficult time with this chapter or whatever it is and look for the feedback that, that will help us in our process. And I'm involved in all of those too as Wonderful. the facilitator. Um, and, you know, we're working the book chapter by chapter as a group. And uh, in that group, there are seven, seven people on board and they're from four different states. So Excellent. very geographically diverse, which is uh, an awesome, it's wonderful, wonderful achievement. Thing, isn't it? And then I also have a one-on-one -on -one coaching practice. I have, uh, I keep my roster limited because it's an intensive relationship that I have with my coaching clients. But I have I have coaching clients in probably three countries and uh, right now, and mm -hmm. um, and within the states, I think four four states again mm -hmm. with my coaching clients. So. Yeah. You, you stay busy. Yes, I do. I do. I do stay busy. <laughs> now, if someone wanted to learn more about any of these different things, mm -hmm. where would you send them? I would send them primarily to my website, which is lasara.us. That's L-A-S-A-R-A dot U-S. And um, people can always Google me and see what I'm up to, um, mm -hmm. which can be entertaining, to say the least. <laughs> <laughs> I, do, I, I, I do it occasionally just to see what people are saying about me. <laughs> but... Uh, so Googling me is, is always an option, Lasara Firefox. Um, and my phone number is 707-391-7023. That's my business line. People can call anytime and I'll get back to them as quickly as I can. Very good. And Mama Bear. Yes. Before we started filming, we were talking about some of the things you do. Yes, I, I have an organization that's called Magical Cauldron of the Western Sea. Uh, we've been functioning for a decade uh, and uh, or have a nonprofit, and we present events. And one of the events we present is Goddess Gather. We're in our ninth year for Goddess Gather. That's wonderful. And in our fourth year for Two as One, God and Goddess Gather Together. Of course, Goddess Gather is sacred space for women, and Two as One is the bringing the gender. Uh, diversion into the equation so that uh, there because so many people would come to me during the goddess gather early years and say guys you know I want to come to goddess gather and I'm going well sacred space for women you can't come and no even if you wear a skirt you can't <laughs> come uh, but you know they kept after me to kind of you know and I say look just do God gather Mm -hmm. And they said, we cannot get to know the goddess by going to a god gather. And mm -hmm. so that promoted the concept of two as one god and goddess gather together. My organization does have a little slogan. We call it personal growth on the ecstatic edge. And, and I will say this is to differenti differentiate from the kind of uh, personal growth we did say in the 70s in encounter groups of which I certainly experimented with that and uh, all those you know alternative ways of dealing with our relationship issues and life issues only then it was encounter was a pretty could be a pretty unfriendly procedure and we then up kind of miserable for periods of time till we learned you know but we promote personal growth on the ecstatic edge we say you can grow within yourself and enjoy doing it and goddess gather and two is one and our other events are definitely proof positive of that we come out glowing we believe in pampering ourselves in the process and have a wonderful place to do it in Sonoma called Isis Oasis just made for it oh. uh-huh and uh, we also uh, do a more private initiation cycle called mm. the uh, Mysteries of Lucis, Eleusinian mm -hmm. Living Mysteries, and uh, that's a two-year cycle and with four major festivals of uh, 
you know, of initiation. It's a mm -hmm. very personal, deep, and also wonderful process and keeps us attuned with the energies that our society and the way we think and dramatize our lives are really based on those ancient Eleusinian mysteries. And, uh, you know, I could go on quite a bit about that, but we'll, we can leave it rest there. Well, so, let, let me ask you, uh, if our viewers were interested in coming to God, Goddess Gather or Goddess Gather to as One, uh, or your Eleusinian Living Mysteries, uh, where would you send them for more information? At goddessgather.com has been around for nine years, so that's the best way. They can also go to Magical Cauldron with a CK, cauldron.com, or 2-as-1.com. Uh, Any of those, and they can also call me at 707 937 Three six two nine. I'd be glad to take uh, well, you know wonderful. conversation. I hope that you enjoyed part one of our episode, and you'll join us again in part two as we continue our interview with Lasara Firefox, Aurora, and Mama Bear. Hello, this is Reverend Don Lewis, and I'm very pleased to announce the publication in paperback of Witch School's Lessons for the First Degree. Available now for pre-order from witchschool.com and coming soon to a bookstore near you together with lessons for the second degree and lessons for the third degree.